And we know the large amount of oxygen in biomass, such as they can exist, and this one, this is phenol group, and this OH group, this is carbonyl group. And um, what I said, this one, because, uh, because this property, uh, it means uh, biomass is favorable to, to yield the oxygenated chemicals by the oxidation of uh, oxygen. Well, so the products include uh, formic acid, acetic acid, and uh, uh, acetyl. In the literature, the biomass is hydrolyzed to, uh, to fructose and glucose. Then it, it is oxidized to formic acid using the, uh, the catalyst, uh, this hydropolyacid. And because of the robust of crystal of structure of cellulose, so this is the result in the literature. We can say that in the long term for the conversion of cellulose to formic acid, and the yield also very low. Uh, Professor uh, Wang Ye uh, developed this kind of catalyst and uh, increased the temperature and from the, the time can shorten to two hours. And the, the formic, formic acid year, formic acid year can increase the 39, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and they shorten the reaction time. And if we add the inorganic acid to the reaction system, what's the influence of, of inorganic acid on the, on the catalyst performance and uh, uh, how to match the two step hydrolysis and the oxidation? So today I'd like to introduce our recent work from this third part. When we add the, the sulfuric acid to the solution, we can say um, the conversion and the yield of formic acid is increased with the amount of sulfuric acid. And we have also temperature have a great influence on the conversion and, uh, the, and the yield of formic acid. And at the temperature 180 degrees, and only 5 minutes 
which are overtaking the 60 wire per cycle of formic acid on carbon, uh, on carbon base. So it's much higher than the, than the results in the, in the literature. In the literature, this means the yeah. time is decreased greatly and the, the formic acid yield increases to 61 per cycle. So what's the reason? So we start the uh, the pH value on the uh, on the catalyst on, on the catalyst that performs by MRI. <coughs> well, when we add in the sulfur amino acid, then the pH pH value decrease decrease greatly. We can say the peak V1 moved greatly. It means that the uh, protonation occurs uh, uh, with uh, a decrease of pH value. And uh, we also use the cyclic uh, voltimogram to study the, uh, the oxidative potential. If we, uh, if we, 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 the amount, we increase the amount of sulfuric acid, we can see uh, the oxidation potential the E half so here. Yes, from 0 0.41 uh, to 0 0.48. It means the oxidation potential increase. And uh, as you reported in the literature, we also use the uh, model compound, this is the substrate to study the conversion pathway. Sorry. We can say for this. For this year, we had the uh, the yield the yield of formic acid is much higher, it's more than fifty percent. And for for the for the uh, lactic acid, there is a uh, there is a high yield of uh, acetic acid. This this one. So we think cellulose first is is hydrolyzed to glucose. And then glucose is oxidized to these three uh, LD hats, then oxidized to formic acid. So when the acetic acid is also produced, because this is hydrolyzed, uh, glucose hydrolyzed to this lipolytic acid, then lipolytic acid to oxidized to produce acetic acid and also formic acid. And we know there is, there is lignin in biomass besides the cellulose and the semi-cellulose. So we studied whether the catalyst system cathode polyacid with sulfuric acid can oxidize lignin to chemicals. And we found, uh, yes, the catalyst system can also oxidize the lignin to chemicals, but the, the yield of chemicals is very low. It's 43.7% in weight. So the pressure results on the carbon base. This is the in, uh, in weight. So this is very low. The yield include, uh, include the formic acid and uh, oxalic acid and oxalic acid. Is it one? Oxalic acid, oxalic acid, and uh, basic carboxylic. Carboxylic. What does it mean basic acid? It's basic basic with different carbon carboxylic. Growth from one to six, so the term, the term carboxylic, carboxylic acid. The results demonstrate that the catalyst system can be used to convert lignin to, to chemicals. And uh, then we, we use this uh, hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid system to oxidize common cause uh, to chemicals. So this is uh, a really about mass. And we also studied the influence of catalyst demand and the O2 pressure and the sulfuric acid concentration at the temperature. In the other pressure of O2 in the stream of uh, we obtained the 51.6% of, uh, of, 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 of formic acid and acetic acid. And the uh, conversion is 100 percent. And uh, after oxidation, we use the butanol to extract the product formic acid and the acetic acid from the equal solution. Then the, the catalyst uh, 
Okay, the catalyst the system can be reused for four times. It can be used for four times. And the above is not indicated that for this hydropolyacid and the sulfuric acid system, they show a good catalyst for the oxidative bromides to formic acid and acetic acid. But it's difficult to synthesize hydropolyacid, uh, acid, the long wing and the low yield, are also importantly the high price of this uh, catalyst. So due to the active species of VO2 plus, uh, which can be produced by this catalyst, but according to the literature, it can be also produced from this sodium metal vanadate. This, this one? So we think whether we can use this simple catalyst, this uh, uh, sodium metal vanadate, and with uh, sulfuric acid uh, to oxidize the biomass to uh, uh, to turn close. So because this is a, this is very cheap and a very simple to uh, this is to obtain. We use the, the, the system to convert the cellulose. We, we can we can say the conversion can reach one hundred percent and the, the yield of form gas can reach sixty four percent. It's much higher and um, we use the uh, HGLC to study the the result we found the uh, the main product is formic acid, and uh, in, the pro in the gas product, uh, there is only CO2. Uh, and uh, when we treat the sulfuric acid uh, uh, concentration, we found uh, the pr um, product distribution is different. It, uh, and uh, when the sulfuric acid is zero point seven, um, the main product uh, almost uh, is only formic acid. And this catalyst uh, system can be also used to convert our glucose and also produce a large amount of formic acid. With uh, no surface, the formic acid is easy, the glucose is easy to convert compared to this one. This means uh, glucose is very easy to convert. The result is that uh, when we add the sulfuric acid to the solution, uh, sulfuric acid is carry in, enhance the hydrolysis and improve the oxidation catalyst. So the yield is, is increased and the reaction can be shortened. So uh, well, we use the MTS to study the, what's the effect on the, on the catalyst performance. Well, in the presence of, of oxygen, we found that the only way far is this species. When there is no oxygen, the main species is V4. So this says that from V4 to V5, this is a catalyst, it's a cycle. And uh, according to the literature, uh, for the vanadium species, there is a different state according to the TH value. When TH value is, is very low, the only state is the VO2 plus. And the, we use the AMR to study before and after the oxidation, there is only level two, level two plus that exists in the reactor system. And when the, when the concentration of sulfuric acid is more than 0.7 percent, and the TF value is lower than one, so it's, it's uh, inconsistent, inconsistent with, the, with our results. Yeah, this is our result, it's uh, more than 0 0.7 percent. And then we also studied the, the, uh, the possible intermediate and the conversion way. We studied this uh, different substrate. And for this aldehyde, the conversion uh, is 100%, and the, the, yield, the yield, yield of formic acid is more than 60%. So we think this is not a catalyst system from 5 to, to, to 4. Then uh, is generated to fab, to fab. And cellulose is hybridized to this glucose. Glucose is then decomposed to this compound and uh, further oxidized to formic acid. 
So uh, we want to know whether this, this simple catalyst uh, system can be used to convert a uh, weight straw or zero biomass. And this shows the conversion. The conversion can, uh, can reach the 100% at a high temperature uh, of, uh, uh, so of a very short time to increase temperature. And the form, the formic acid yield can reach 47%. At the same time, we also obtain the small amount of 7.3% acetic, uh, uh, acetic acid. So, uh, in which stroke, there are three, com three, com uh, uh, three, three components. So the first is semicellulose and the cellulose and the lignin. What is the conversion circuit? Uh, we use very much to study. This chick is uh, for the cellulose, and this chick for the semicellulose, and uh, this chick is for the lignin. So from this results, we can say semicellulose is uh, first converted during the oxidation, then lignin. The last one is cellulose. This means uh, cellulose is difficult to convert it. So this, we, this is what we call the robust structure. <coughs> and after the oxidation, we also use the butanol to extract the products, uh, formic acid and uh, acetic acid. And the catalyst can be reused uh, this is, this is for three times. And if we want to increase the concentration of products for only once the product this is very dilute of formic acid. So uh, we can continuously charge biomass to the system. Then <coughs> the product concentration is increased greatly. So uh, understand what's the relation uh, between hydrolysis and the oxidation. Uh, when we uh, convert the cellulose in the reaction, in the catalyst reaction system, we can say increase the temperature and the chip the time, the conversion is achieved greatly, and also uh, formic acid yield is related to the temperature and the uh, uh, reaction time. So we think there is a uh, relationship between hydrolysis and oxygen and their competition. We found that at a certain condition, if we increase the temperature, and we found a small amount of acetic acid, this acetic acid, and also a small amount of levulinic acid. From this data, we, we, we found that there, uh, there may maybe exists a competition between uh, between the acidic, uh, 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 acidity and the temperature. So uh, this is for normal catalytic oxidation with catalyst uh, uh, sodium metamagnetic met met and uh, uh, sulfuric acid and also oxygen. We can see formic acid have a high, high yield. Acetic acid is very low, is increased, is increased with temperature. And for level, level also exists a, a small amount of levulinic acid. When there is no catalyst, sodium validate, so sodium metal validate. And we can say formic acid yield decreases a uh, little. And there will exist acetic, uh, acetic, uh, acetic, uh, acetic acid. And when there is no catalyst and no oxygen, we can say the formic acid decreases greatly and there is no acetic acid. And uh, the level negative level lenic acid yield increased greatly. And then we studied the different substrates in the system. And we, we, we found, uh, yeah, this one, the selectivity to acetic acid, uh, the highest one is for levulitic acid, the, the 
is, is a 35 uh, percent. So we think glucose is hydrolyzed to uh, HMS, it is a five times hydroxy methyl for further around. Then it is hydrolyzed to leverage acid, and the leverage acid is oxidized to acetic acid. So this is when, when acetic acid is produced in this uh, reaction system from glucose. So the relationship between hydrolysis and oxidation is cellulose first is hydrolyzed to glucose. Then glucose is oxidized to formic acid. So this is normal catalytic oxidation. And glucose can be hydrolyzed to HMF. This is HMF. The HMF can be further hydrolyzed to lipolytic acid. Then lipolytic acid can be oxidized by oxygen to acetic acid and also small amount of formic acid. Because the active, uh, because the uh, active activity of uh, HMS, it can further to produce sulfur and uh, to produce unknown products such as helium. Uh, and HMS also can react with cellulose to from uh, to form uh, the unknown products. Uh, this is the hydrolysis way. And this is a catalytic ox oxidation way. The uh, between them is a competition. This is, this is a, a competition between. We hope glucose can be converted to formic acid, but it also produces the acetic acid, also this unknown products. So we think uh, this com competitive relationship leads to the competitive effects of products. Then we use, uh, we use the to experiment to, to, uh, to further demonstrate the relationship. If we increase the ox uh, oxygen pressure, it should be favorable for the oxidation. So, so formic acid the yield is increased. And uh, for acetic acid, it is increased uh, a little bit decrease. This, this is an increased O2 pressure is favorable for the production of formic acid. So if we increase sulfonic acid, the formic acid also increase. Even further increase the sulfuric acid, it decreases because of the uh, over hydrolysis. And then the acetic acid uh, yield increase because of the level of acid pr produced. The, from this color, you can see there is a competition. The increase the O2 pressure, the product solution is is this is this is this is this is dark because they are humid they are humid in the reaction system and uh, for if we, if we increase the sulfuric con concentration you, you can see this is dark solution because the 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 fuel produced so this is competitive effect and uh, the the above results that the two catalyst system can oxidation or very much to uh, to formic acid and acetic acid with much higher yield, is more than 60 percent on carbon base. Uh, however, uh, that large amount of CO2 produced because the conversion is 100 percent, so it is uh, the CO2 yield is more than 30 percent. So the question is how to how to inhibit the CO2 production. Okay. Uh, then we started this type of street where we found. Uh, CO2 is really produced from this, this uh, acid. And so this glucose is grown from the aldehyde group. Then aldehyde can, uh, can be oxidized to formic acid. The, the, this can also produce the carboxylic group. The carboxylic group can be oxidized to CO2. And according to the literature, this aldehyde group can react with alcohol to produce this this is a, a cycle function. This, is, this means that we can use, uh, we, can, uh, we can add the alcohol to, uh, uh, to, uh, to protect uh, this group and inhibit the CO2. And if we add the alcohol, it can, such as methanol, we can react the methanol to, to, uh, uh, to, to, to form an uh, intermediate state by esterification. It may subdivide CO2 production. So first of all, we started uh, 
stability of Mesno at Asimov in the actual legal solution, we found Mesno and Asimov is very stable. <coughs> and uh, when there is no Mesno uh, for the oxidation of glucose, large amount of CO2 produced, if there is a Mesno or Asimov in the equal solution, we, we can just say the conversion can be reached uh, where I have the and the CO2 is decreased to only 3 or 2 percent. And then we use the MR to study the, the product, the product the distribution we found. The, there is a, this is the formic acid, this is a methyl formic acid, this is dimethyl methyl, this is dimethyl methyl. And, and then uh, when we decrease the methanol volume, we can say this gap is, is CO2. And uh, the CO2 is suppressed. And, uh, but the methyl formic and uh, uh, dimethoxy methyl also uh, produced. But the CO2 is decreased very small. Sorry. Okay. 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 Uh, for the oxidation of cellulose. You may, uh, but the time is increased, the time is increased uh, to 100 minutes, 100 minutes, so it will be a long, very long time, but the yield is about uh, uh, 90 percent on carbon, so the, uh, most of the carbon is, is converted to the products. So this is the uh, pathway, and this is how, to, how the CO2 is product. Uh, in Arsenal, this, this, uh, pro, this function is the protect, and then it produces uh, this compound, this acetone. Then we draw some conclusion. Uh, in our work, we developed the two catalyst uh, system. We have one catalyst of polyacid and uh, sodium metabolizer. And if you did consider, we can obtain the much higher yield of formic acid. And uh, we reviewed the relationship of hydrolysis and oxidation. And uh, we found a way to separate CO2 by adding methanol to the solution. Then the, the, uh, the product of the yield increased um, about 90% is very high. I'd like to thank my colleagues and, my students, and also thank you for listening. Thank you very much. We have just uh, Time for a very short question, please. Of course, sir. Yes. <laughs> uh, please uh, open the uh, conclusion. Yeah. Uh, okay, conclusion just. Uh, here we use it, uh, a different uh, catalyst uh, with the sulfur acid. Uh, you know, when you hydrolyze the uh, Cellulose and uh, cellulose containing lignin and also organic. You know this corrodic condition because you use it sulfuric acid. Yeah, right. How do you use this small problem? What kind of metal you use? Or yeah. after after producing cellulose product, I mean uh, this uh, acid, different acids, but in solution mixing, uh, remaining sulfuric acid. How did you use? This problem. Thank you. You understand my question? You mean the separation problem? You mean the you know acidic I mean I mean when you use a sulfuric acid yeah. uh, after the compound cellulose into yeah. acid, acetic acid, formic acid, yeah, right, but with right. them with them remaining sulfuric acid too. Yeah. This is corrosive condition, pH very low. Right, right. But this corrosive condition, yeah. how did you use this problem, corrosive? Uh, when? You mean the corrosion problem? Corrosion problem. Corrosion problem. Yeah. Corrosion problem. Corrosion yeah. problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the sulfuric acid with a very low concentration is uh, normally the percent. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. And uh, the, uh, so the, the, the problem is the uh, corrosion to the equipment. So we can use a, uh, maybe it's a better so deal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.